hard to get a start in these parts without paper. Homie, I grew up in hell. A block away from heaven. That corner ain't 15 minutes to move a seven. Yo, what's up, people? You know what I'm saying? I'm just vibing out to some 50 Cent real quick. Yo, how you guys doing today, bruh? Uh, Cobra Star Green back with you guys with another video today. Your first time finding the channel, you love power, stuff like that. You guys make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Also, the video, yes, the video, the topic of today because I've gotten it before. People been hitting me up in DMs about it. But, uh, do y'all believe that Power Book, listen to me, Power Book 3 will be the best, not only this, the best spinoff to come out. But the best thing to come out from power. Do you guys believe that? Well, let, let, let's talk about it right after this. All right, folks, let's go ahead and let's discuss this now. Yes, that's the topic of conversation here because uh, it's people comment, people commenting in my last video talking about, yo, this really has the potential to be like the best spinoff. Like, I'm not even talking about just the best spinoff. I'm talking about the best thing coming from Power. And I was like, so you mean better than, any, than, better than the freaking original Power? I'm talking about with Ghost, Tommy, Kanan, all that. Do you think it'd be better than that? And they were like, yes, we do believe that this... Raising Canaan spinoff will be the best thing to come out from power. Now, the only reason why I would kind of give them that benefit of the doubt is because of what we saw in season six. You guys know me. You know I hated power season six. I hated it. That whole who shot ghost thing, how they dragged it out to just to the point that like, at least for me, I didn't even care who was the one that ended up shooting ghosts at the end of the day because they dragged it out like five episodes, so I didn't really care, care at that point. Then I figured out that, oh, it's, it's Tyreek, and, you know, I don't think they executed that properly. Um, but off of saying that, I was like, okay, you're kind of working with something because now I'm going I'm to give you reasons why maybe not, you know? But... You're kind of, I can't see where you're coming from, but the reason why, I, I personally, me, no, I think the writing could be better. I'll say that. I think the writing could be a lot better with Power Book 3, but I'm not going to lie. When it comes to this Power Book 3 thing, I got to talk about this thing real quick. So, Kemp had stated before that she didn't want to do a young ghost spinoff because of the fact that um, there would be no stakes in the show. So, if they were, if, if um, we had a young ghost spinoff. We, we would know that Ghost survived. We know Angela survived. We know Tommy would survive. Stuff like that, right? But I'm like, okay, that's cool enough, Kemp, that you said that. But what about this Raising Canaan spinoff? There's no stake here either, you know? Now, we're going to have to create it. But there's nothing here. We know Canaan's going to end up surviving. His mom, unless Canaan's a liar, his mom ends up surviving too. But they could probably just flip that and make it to where she will end up dying too. But because if you guys remember at the uh, Power Book, at the season one of Power, um, Kanan was like, yo, I'm about to go see my mom. So, but at the same time, Kanan is known to be a liar. So he could have just lied about something like that, you know? Um, so this, this second count that he wasn't a lion. So Kanan survives, Kanan's mom will end up surviving. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it's up in the ballpark for everybody else. But just off that aspect, it's kind of like, yeah, there's not really stakes in here. So I'm more leaning on the writing in this one. I fully expect, this is just me. I fully expect this to be the best written uh, uh, spinoff to come out from Power. I definitely, because Tommy, you know, he's just going to be dealing with the same people he's been dealing with before, right? But what they could do with this, hold on, let me put this, I want, I want to put this up. But what they could, hold on. But what they could do with this goddamn Raising Canaan spinoff, you could also set up a huge thing that everyone was actually talking about in the original uh, Power. This new character, Breeze, you know what I'm saying? They could actually, if they wanted to, I don't know if they're going to do it, I, even though I think they should because it's said in like the 19, was it 1990s? Or, I think it said 1990s, right? If I'm, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 1991 is said in. You could set up Breeze's character in here, you know? Now, we know Breeze ain't going to make it, but at least you had that huge 
major character that's like, okay, everybody's talking about Breeze. You know what I'm saying? Well, we could put him in we could put him in this show. That would be a thing I would like to see with Power. But uh Power Book Three. But going back on uh do I think Power Book Three is gonna be better than than Power Book One and, and and Power Book Two, Power Book Four, uh even the original Power. I, I would say no, just off the fact that man, that you gotta understand power just just the regular power show. You know what I'm saying? We sit back and we watch power. Y'all can't tell me y'all didn't fall in love with Jamie. Y'all didn't fall in love with Ghost. Y'all didn't fall in love with Tommy. Now, the writing wasn't always good in this, right? But as a as, as you overall looking at this, you cannot say it didn't at least grab your attention for at least, now nah, I'm not going to say fully six seasons, but you can't say this show didn't fully grab your attention uh, attention for at least five seasons, you know, and that's very hard to do for TV shows to fully grab your attention for five seasons. So we will have to see what they could do with this power book two. I mean, power book three, um, and see what they can go from it. Like I said, even, even, even juice box. Cause I know y'all juke box. God damn it. Juke box, juice box. So y'all don't get juke box. So y'all don't get them in the conversation. Um, even we know juke box is even, even in them surviving, you know? Um, but I think I, I have I, I think this can be a really good spinoff. I'll say that. I think this could be I think this will be the best spinoff out of all of them. I'll say that. I'll give it that. It will be the best spinoff out of the the power spinoff. I mean the power book four with Tommy, uh, with Tate, Power Book Five with Tate, uh Power Book Two with Tyreek. I think this will be the best spinoff out of those. So I'll just say that though. But I'm very, very excited for Power Book uh Three to come out, but yeah, I, if you're asking me, I don't think it's gonna be. At least from, like, I guess writing a writing standpoint, it's probably better than uh power. But just at it, least it me, like me sitting back, me watching it, I don't think it's gonna be better than that regular power season. But who knows? I, I I've been wrong before, you know. But I just just to say, I'm very very excited what they could see, what they could do. With this, uh, it's a lot of characters here that you actually do care about here. Kanan, Kanan's mom, you know what I'm saying? Just to see their chemistry together on the screen. Look, that that's something we might, we, we, we haven't really seen before. Like a mother and son, like crazy duo like that. Unless I'm missing one, but you know what I'm saying? Like a mother and son duo. I don't know if we've, have we seen it like to this extent before? In the power universe. I can't think of... Because you say in Power Book 2, Monet, nah, Monet really wasn't really in there with a son like that. But no, nah, this is this is Kanan's mom and Kanan both going crazy in the streets. So, yeah, I'm, but I'm excited, man. Comes out in about a month or whatever you guys have seen this video. I'm very excited. I don't think it'd be better than the regular than the regular power, but I've been wrong before. So, hey, with saying that, man, y'all first time finding my channel, you guys make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Also, the video, tell me you got thoughts, complaints, criticism, stuff like down down below. Um, oh, I didn't even put this up, man. Just how they captured the 1990s, I would say that. Like, I, just the way they captured 1990s was amazing here. Like, n nothing. I don't know how they do this stuff. Did they, really, did they really, like, go out to places like that? And, like, these places was just super run down. To where it really looks like it's the 1990s. I never know how they do stuff like that. But I think this will be the best spinoff out of all of them. But hey, with saying that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.